Hi, I'm Brian Hamilton. This is my wife, Cassie Hamilton, and we attend Family Church Gardens. This is our story. So I was raised uh, here in Palm Beach County and uh, always attended church from nursery all the way to youth group, all the way through high school. Um, I went away to college and uh, met somebody when I had come home and ended up getting married um, and having two beautiful boys. I wasn't following you know, the Lord at all during that kind of period of my life. Um, even though I had that foundation, I had kind of like walked away and was really living more for myself. And we ended up getting divorced, which was really hard because um, it, it just wasn't what I wanted for my life. It wasn't how I saw my life going. It wasn't what I wanted for my kids. I didn't grow up in a divorce home. And so it just felt really hard, honestly. A little bit later, I met this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we started to look for a church and our first stop was Family Church Gardens. I would say Family Church felt like home when we first walked in, really from the people that were in the lobby greeting us. It really did start there. It was very welcoming to step into those doors and have just so many people have such high spirits and show their excitement. Just the way that the pastors care, um, that was something that I don't think I had experienced since I was younger. It makes a big difference to know that like your pastor knows your name. Your pastor knows when you're not there for three weeks. Uh, your pastor knows what's going on in your life and he's going to speak into it. Yeah, we went to lunch and he mm -hmm. listened to our story and uh, he looks over at us and is like, why aren't you guys married? And I'm like, this guy doesn't even know us. <laughs> I'm like, you can ask him. No, that. yeah. But it was it was honestly, he it was amazing. It was amazing that that lunch literally changed our life. I mean, he wasn't afraid to stand up for God's design in our life. Mm -hmm. And he did it out of love. Like we knew that we weren't living according to God's design. And we knew that when he was asking us these questions, it wasn't out of condemnation. It was about love and wanting what's best for us. Mm. And so it was definitely a life-changing lunch, that's for sure. It was. It was one of those moments where you just say yes. Um, you have, we had Pastor Aaron at the time leading us into God's design. Uh, and it was one of those times where I, I trusted him enough and I trusted the Lord enough to say, yes, you're right. Um, let's accelerate this process and <laughs> let's get married. Um, and we did. Once I made the decision to get baptized, I know I struggled a little bit leading up to that, but there was almost a sense of calm that had come over that and then a sense of really joy. That joy was, came from knowing that I'm walking in God's design again. I'm moving closer and closer to Him and I, I'm doing what's asked of me. Um, and uh, again, the fruit that came out of that was my stepson then go and get baptized. And my younger son, Blake, uh, gave his life to Christ earlier this year, and he got baptized um, on November 20th. And so I'm like, hey, you know, we gotta we gotta get off the bench here. When there's a need and our kids obviously, um, you know, they're yeah. part of the kids ministry, why not get involved? And that has truly been just one of the greatest experiences. <laughs> but aside from the kids, the relationships that we've built with yeah. the other volunteers, I mean, they're some of our best friends now. And that changing through all of those steps um, has even given us strength and boldness to go out and share that with other yeah. people as well. It's really been one of the biggest joys that we've had. It just, it makes it easier because that's our life. Our lives look completely different than they did five years ago and better in every way. 